Okay, uh, the next one is also a fun one. Um, you're gonna highlight one of your letters of your nickname, and we're gonna rotate it. Now to rotate it, you're gonna get uh, the character tab up. You just go to window type character or command T, and then we're gonna use this one. Now under the rotation tool, type in a number. I'm gonna choose 45, and then notice that it uh, changes the direction. You can also go negative if you want it to go negative. I'm gonna go negative 45. Negative 65. Negative 40. Negative 25. Okay, so I think I got something I want to do now. I can also bring that in. You see that A to Z right? A to V right here. I can choose to make that uh, less, like the distance. So I can go like negative 100. Actually, I'm going to go negative 500. And notice that it brings the text in closer together. What tool is that? This is all under character tab. So you can try that out. OK. Like, see this big space between the 50 and the B? I can choose to like go negative 100, and it brings it closer together. OK, so let's keep going. We're almost done. Actually, we're half done. OK, number five. Uh, number five, we're going to be ooh, changing the text. So let's go ahead and put in our name again. And I'm going to put zero and negative 25. OK, so I have my text here. Um, what I'm going to do is if I hit Command Shift O, it makes it as an object instead of the text. So it's now more like an object. Now what I can do is I can edit, if I hit A on the keyboard for the white arrow, the direct selection tool, I can basically select and move these letters into for the shape. Similar to what we did in Photoshop. Oh yeah, we did. For the extra okay, so you can go ahead and move like different shapes around to make it more conducive to what you want. Okay, so that's number five. Let's go to number six. Number six is just a glyph. Okay, for a glyph, all you need to do is go to type glyphs. And in glyphs, uh, choose symbol. Okay, symbol, go ahead and choose symbol in your glyphs. And then you can insert a bunch of like copyright symbol if you want to copyright your name, your nickname. So there's the copyright symbol. Hey, glyph? Yeah, glyphs. Now, number seven. There is no glyphs. Type glyphs on the top. OK, now we're going to create holes in our text. So let's go ahead and choose a font that's a little bit more thick for us. I'm going to go to type fonts, and I'm going to choose Ash. OK? Now, with our 50 bot here, um, you're basically going to choose a different color. And let's see, like choose like either the Eclipse tool or the Star tool or some shape, 
and basically you're going to like be putting shapes over the your name you see this okay you can also rearrange the stars if you want Okay, now watch this. This is really fun. Highlight all the stars and the text or whatever shapes you have. Remember the Pathfinder tool in Photoshop? Go to Window and then choose Pathfinder. And in the Pathfinder tool, there's this thing called uh, Subtract from Shape. It's the second one. Go ahead and click that. And you'll notice now it subtracted those shapes from the star. And that is number seven. Please go slowly. <laughs> okay, that's number seven. And the last one is probably the hardest one of everything, but it's okay because you guys are smart students, right? No, you guys are smart. You'll get this one easy. Okay, so uh, for this next one, it's basically called. Like, it's basically making 3D text. So, first of all, we're going to make it an object. What's that shortcut? Yes, Command Shift O, make it an object. Now we're going to uh, make it a color. And then Command C, Command V to make a copy of it and make it another color. And make it like the top layer to the top right of the second one, kind of like a shadow. Then we have what it's called a blend tool or W on the keyboard. Double click that and choose specified steps and the number 50, as in 50 baht, and hit OK. And click on the bottom left part of the first letter, OK? What I did was I clicked and then I click. And then notice it blends it right in together like that. Okay? So, and I can show you later if you have questions about that. Now that we practiced, you can like uh, take a screenshot of that to upload to your posturist. And now we're going to get into the tutorial now that you understand how to do some of these text effects.